is a revolution. That was it right there. Did you hear it? It's it's like it was put in after the fact. Um, (laughs) The uh, amazing. (laughs) Yes. What technology can do. So we got uh, AEW Dynamite from the 5th. So I got my own little notes here on my phone, uh, but I'm going to leave the web page up here for the sake of the the video thing we're trying out. So before we even go like the play by play to it, kind of, uh, what was your overall opinion on this episode? Um, I thought it was good. Good? Okay. I like it, that you're very it, uh, middle of the road with the show. The sh- you're like, eh, it was pretty good. It was okay. I mean, I don't think it was like the greatest. Right. They've had a know, couple that were real good. This one definitely had some high spots to it. Taking on the NWO, you know, <laughs> right. moments going on. But, I mean, it was alright. What about David Flair with his uh, rubber crowbar? Moments like yes, that. Oh yeah. <laughs> the ring bell is about like that. We'll get to that. So uh <laughs> let's see. So we started out we had uh Moxley and Ortiz kicked it off, which I was a yep. little bit surprised of. But uh match wise, I mean that was pretty normal like what I expected out of the match. I thought Ortiz looked good in it. Uh man, the AW's uh page actually goes into pretty good detail on it. Uh I've never used that before. But either way, so Moxley wins. Uh, was there yep. anything during the match that stuck out to you other than Moxley's upgraded eye patch? Oh, yeah. I, I was getting ready to say that uh, he's becoming more and more like a <laughs> solid snake there. The I think what needs to happen, though, because he's still having to adjust it. Remember yep. the, the pirate that fought Bret Hart, uh, Jean-Pierre, or whatever it was, in WWF? Oh, yeah. He yeah. needs to just go full Pierre. And get the full like head wrap uh, eye patch, so it stops moving sure. around. I think that's yeah. going to be his final form for this whole thing. It's, it's when we get to Revolution, there. and he's just going to look full on that. Um, well, I think it's funny that he is like really committed with this because he like in Japan, he's wearing it, he's wearing it in interviews. He's uh... yeah, I'm. He's probably enjoying it. Now, I'm really curious if they're doing, like, the the Scream Mask style uh, blackout where you can still see through it somehow, uh-huh. or if he really is just making himself blinded in the one eye during the time that the patch is on. Yeah. Also, is he wearing it at home, and he's constantly trying to grab, like, a water bottle and just knocking it over because he has no depth <laughs> perception, and yeah. Renee is just yelling at him. <laughs> Renee Young's like, can you please... Take that off. We're not wrestling anymore. You, no, honey, I'm I'm living in. The, I'm a method actor. <laughs> yeah. Like, here's a method. Try just acting. Uh, yes. Yeah, but it is. It's pretty interesting that he's just keeping it going. So he's, I assume, having a blast. Like from a creative standpoint. So I thought it was interesting at the end where Santana comes in and uh-huh. gets basically stabbed in the eyeball. <laughs> yes. With the car keys. Now, I don't know yeah. when it comes with, like, a key like that, if it's a stabbing, a shanking, or a keying. Uh-huh. Like, I don't know what you consider that. But either way, um, he got in the eye. Um, I did like yeah, where... So be... Is Go this ahead. going to end with, like, everybody in the inner circle <laughs> missing an eyeball? <laughs> I hope so. I hope that it's just absolutely ridiculous. Or somebody is just full-on blinded. Um, yeah. Because if, like, Moxley were to be, like... I could see the end result if Jericho wins the feud somehow. Is yeah. Moxley is blinded for three months and then comes back. Like, they take his other eye or something. Um, sure. I did like how when Santana got, like, stabbed in the eye, like, he treated it equally as big of a deal and everybody else did as when it happened sure. to Moxley. <laughs> yeah. Because I have to criticize WWE on this and a lot of other federations over time where... You'll have someone, you know, like a chair shot or a weapon shot or something, and then they do the same thing to the other person, but it's not nearly as severe to them for some reason. Yeah. But in this case, like, and they get to, like, the, the backstage thing a little bit later, but mm-hmm. it's a big deal. Like, he's going to be wearing an eye patch too, I'm pretty sure. So, unless they explain that the key didn't do as much damage as the spike, because it's not as big or something. Yeah. But you break through so... the cornea, you're in a bad way. So the Bleacher Report gave this a B plus grade. 
is there a um, scale I'm... like A plus to F F minus? Yes. I think it's just F. Okay, I was gonna say because really, if an F is a zero, you can't have a, a minus. <laughs> yeah. So like, I mean, I mean, would you agree with that? I guess I would agree with it. Yeah, I maybe, mean, it was. Maybe, I was maybe entertained. Maybe B plus. Maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't. I haven't really thought of like rating the matches like that, just because yeah. who am I? Uh, but I mean, it was. I didn't hate it at all. Um, compared yeah. to the other matches on the card, this was definitely one of the better. Um, but yeah, so let's see here. So we get over to, uh, SCU against, uh, your favorite tag team ever, the best friends. Yeah. So your, you have two, your favorite two superstar, teams. Trent. You have two Chuck teams Tim. that I care very little about. Um, <laughs> so yeah, they I just, mean, they're, they're, they're all good. I just, I don't know. <laughs> for me, it's, I want to see Scorpio sky almost do single stuff. Yeah. Cause he's awesome. I want to see Orange Cassidy do single stuff. Everybody else, it, I'm kind of indifferent. I do like Trent, and yeah. I think Chuck Taylor's fine, but there's just nothing to get me invested in him. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, the match I thought was a pretty pretty standard match. I didn't know who was going to win going into it, because I could have seen it going either way. Uh, yeah. SCU gets the win, though. Then we get the Dark Order coming and beating everybody up. Yeah. Uh, I like that, uh, what's his name? Uh, Nightwing there. Grayson. Oh, yeah, was, yeah Stu. Was not having any part of Orange Cassidy's <laughs> yeah. games, like, at all. Yeah. Like, he just, just like, waylaid like, him. Yep. Yeah. Uh, which is fine. I mean, that's good. That's probably the biggest heel move of the night overall. <laughs> sure. Um, let me see here. If there is... Like Christopher they Daniel break, finally uh, comes down and everybody retreats. Yeah. Going more. At this point, it's I have easy. to assume they're playing up that everyone thinks it's going to be him. Yeah. And that's like the re whole red herring thing. Or, yeah, I mean, and then like, so their first feud that they're going to have, like, whoever this exalted one is, if it's not Daniels, is he going to have a feud with the fallen angel here? And like, I don't know. I. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I read an interesting post somewhere making the case for Dustin to be the, yeah. the dude. I, I was like, that. okay, that, that'd be interesting. Um, mm -hmm. Not quite a letdown and not amazing, but from a story, it'd be like, okay, this is interesting. So well, I could well, see so that. The, so the problem is like, you know, like I've heard, like you know, Brody Lee coming in, Luke. Sorry, Luke Harper. If you don't, if, yeah. if you're not invested into like searching out wrestlers, uh, Luke Harper, uh, Matt Hardy coming in. You know, but the thing is, I think those characters, they're characters on themselves. They don't need the you know, well, the exalted I don't, one gimmick. I don't look at Luke know? Harper and think mastermind character. <laughs> sure. Well, Truth and I told. think uh, I think uh, if Matt Hardy goes to AEW, I don't think Matt Hardy, you know, would want the Exalted One. Maybe I, I, he fits in with it, but I don't know. I just don't, I just don't see it. I don't buy Matt Hardy as a as the Exalted One, though. Yeah. Like they're going to be in a real one. I think the reveal has taken longer than they initially anticipated, due to things changing. And maybe, now, maybe not though. It's hard to say with AEW. Yeah, this is true. Um, <laughs> because the young they're in the long in game Kenny on a Omega, lot of stuff. They, they prolong stuff, I think, which we've criticized in the past. I think they, they go a little bit too long with it. Yeah, I'm more okay with it than you are. But yeah, there's yeah. definitely they are finding out uh, real quick what their audience's patience is going to be for stuff. Mm -hmm. But speaking of uh, patience for things, mm -hmm. we got Brit. And uh, the magical girl. Yes. So, whatever for the match. The match did nothing for me. Uh, no, Britt wins it. it did. But yeah. the aftermath, where they did like the curb stomp thing on the rope. And then, <laughs> yeah. like, a lot of people were criticizing that you could tell that Audrey uh, kind of slipped or something. Which mm -hmm. I would assume would be a blood capsule in the tooth. Uh, sure. That's fine, whatever. WrestleMania 5, you could see Hogan blading big as day 
like just laying on the ground <laughs> face up to the world uh, sure so i can handle something like that but i thought that made that was that like i was entertained by that now when she grabbed the ring bell and hit her in the back with the ring bell okay wow was that weak <laughs> like it was like she held it and just let gravity do its thing and kind of like sure. hit her in the back yeah like now maybe because a, I'm old enough that I remember a, like Macho Man with the ring yeah. bell on Jake the Snake and then uh, Steamboat or whatever like you know like coming off the ropes with the ring bell for the elbow drop. Yeah. Like I remember some violence with that. Not. Well, <laughs> not whatever see, that I think was. The, I think the issue that you and me have is we we seen the older style of wrestling. I mean, I remember her Tommy Dreamer just laying into uh, Raven with a chair. <laughs> like, yes. Well, yeah, so. where it was like, all right, lay it in, brother. <laughs> yeah. Although, so you maybe, know, uh... the uh, the violence of that ring bell from Brit, though, what if she was the person in the Dark Order who was yeah. going for the eardrums by pounding the mat <laughs> next to the guy's head? Yes. Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, I did like I did text you this. I do, I do like her ring gear. It was very sharp looking. Uh, the black and silver. Yeah. It was very uh, diesel. Yeah, maybe it may as well. I liked it. And Britt Baker <laughs> lost that match. I don't know if I said that she won for some reason. Just in case I yeah, said she, that. Yeah, no, it was uh, yeah. she lost. Yeah, with the roll up Which out was of the weird. Uh, yeah, I thought like she was going to win it, but up. then her knocking a tooth out. Now, what would be even better is if she would then, like, come out next week and offer uh, discounted dental rates. <laughs> yes. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I think, uh, now, the Bleach Report gave this an A+. I do not think this match deserved an A+. I'm sorry. The post-match, I thought, was real good. And I could see yeah. given the post-match by itself, like, a real high rating. Yeah. Like, you know, whatever scale you're using. But the match itself, um, there's still just, like, an intensity or a speed issue for me with her stuff. Yeah. And it's hard for me to get past. Uh, as she Agreed. gets... I mean, she seems real comfortable being a heel. So I think she'll she'll put it all together. Like, I think this will work out really well for her. And it'll get to what their expectations are for her. But it's just taking a little bit of time. So, because she can yeah. work, like she's either her speed's off or there's just like something not right but as heel she can be slower about stuff and it makes sense so i think yeah. she'll i mean there's a lot of smart people in aew she's uh she knows a guy that's pretty good at wrestling so i'm sure that she's got resources to go to uh for his, yeah. you know she's still still a rookie i suppose you could say from that just standpoint. a rookie the, uh, so next we get the 9,000 person, 100,000 moves of doom match. Yeah. Holy moly. Um, there was a lot going on in this thing. And I didn't follow did it you, well. did, did you not? Did you think that it wouldn't be? So that's all that the I Lucha just, Brothers was in there. Well, so I've been playing the Shakira video game that you can get on Steam. Where you can have like a ten-person battle royal or five-on-five five crazy matches, um, and it felt a lot like that, where there's just stuff going on everywhere, all the time. No. Uh, now it does not have so in that game. If you were curious, I have downloaded the Out of Order Pepsi machine, and okay. it had a feud with Bane from Batman. Okay. Bane is currently your AEW champion in my video game, so nice. But he did the <laughs> the backbreaker to the Pepsi machine, and it is now permanently out of order. But his next challenger is Potato Chip Man. Uh, you need to check out that game. If nothing else, the the creative character <laughs> that people yeah. make it's amazing. Gotcha. Like there's <laughs> some of the stuff I can't even explain to you. But um, let me see. So I guess really the everything escalates. Like Paige has like the knee injury flares up on him and then that comes to the end where uh page is in uh he was gonna tag kenny kenny gets taken out the bucks come up on the apron he's so hurt that he can't even make a step 
and then he gets yeah. just pummeled, and then the Young Bucks get mad at him for not tagging, even though he was in pain. That's how I saw it. <laughs> yeah. Now uh, here, yeah, on the official, it says, Paige refused to tag in, said Excalibur. Well, yeah. I think that he was in a lot of pain, and that one more step was just too much. Yeah, I, so Let's I don't not know mind that like... he turned around and ran the other direction, but... <laughs> So the, the fans are clearly behind Hangman uh, just because his gimmick is getting over. Yeah, I... Just, I, I, I just don't <laughs> see you turning him heel. I just, I just, or the fans would be like, well, you can turn him heel. I'm still going to cheer him. So. Right, no, they're definitely at that point. Now, I do yeah. think, um, and that came up later. Well, we can just talk about that. Where uh, Paige basically has some like Undertaker magic where he's able to materialize a pitcher of beer out of nowhere. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, but it looked like Kenny almost took his side a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if he's going to go and stay with Paige and then the Bucks turn. Like, I don't know. I really don't know what they're going to do, uh, but I am invested in it for sure. Like, I want to see, yeah. I want to see what's next. There's a, there's enough going on with it and enough intrigue that I think it's real good. So, uh, and then we got, uh, when Pac talks, I always think of, uh, oh, I can't remember his name now. The dude in Lost, the, the guy who was like in the cockpit that was always calling everybody brother. Okay. Uh, someone knows who I'm talking about, but I think of him as that, but so he's like fading or, uh, feigning that he's going to attack Rio. Yeah. But he does, Kenny thinks he is. So he gives him his match. And then uh, he was like, I'm not a beast, but she is. There was a yeah. long enough pause there where I was like, what? Like it didn't. And then Nyla came through the curtain, but it was long enough that I was like, is he saying that Rio's a beast? Like, is he just insulting her for <laughs> yeah. to be a jerk? <laughs> and then like she came out and uh, power bombed her onto a table, not through it. She did not yes. have I was reminded. Well, because, <laughs> well she's like ninety pounds, so right. I mean, it's well, going to take. Do you remember when Sasha Banks was in the Hell in a Cell table match thing, and they threw her into the table in the corner, and she just bounced off it? <laughs> yes. And it was like, oh, I bet that hurt. That's yes. kind of what I felt here. Yeah. Um. Uh. So Nyla's uh kind of growing on me. Yeah, uh, there was that one there. week she got a ton of criticism, and I don't know why. Uh, but I was being a heel. I, I, yeah, I don't understand what people want. I mean, <laughs> right? Like I don't, I haven't, I don't think I've seen her do anything like super unsafe or anything. Yeah. Um, I know that like, and I think that's rightfully so. Like people will get a lot of criticism if they come across as unsafe. But yeah, I, no idea. Um, so we go on to uh, Sabian. Against Joey Janela oh, again. Match, by the way, that hmm. match, by the way, uh, on the Bleacher Report, a, yeah. a, yep. an A, an A. Yep. Mm. I don't know how this one gets an A, but the Brett Baker gets an A plus. I, I, I'm, I'm bad. Had to be that, like the but... story of the after angle. I again want yeah. to do. I do want to mention uh, Kenny's. Uh, well, I guess they call it Snapdragon. Like that's. Mm -hmm. I say it all the time. But that thing looks so safe compared to what I'm used to seeing for a dragon sure. suplex style yeah. where it's like, I would let him do that. Now the normal, um, like when I see like in new Japan, if they're doing those and it's like high and tight on the neck, I'd rather let somebody like Tony Schiavone give me like the Steiner screwdriver than take one of those. Mm. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> Let me see here. So, yeah, but we got uh, Sabian and Janela again. Have they fought every single week on every single possible show? Because it Ooh. feels that way. Uh, yeah, um, I mean... I know that's not true, <laughs> but it just seems like they fought so much that I don't understand where it's going. Well, I mean, hopefully, I guess at Revolution, I mean, they'll, it'll end this feud because I don't think. This Wait, are they is... fighting at Revolution too? I don't know. I'm, I'm just. I'm I hope just, not. I'm, <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. I, I don't know because I'm just like this feud is because I don't really understand it because Janella is clearly over Penelope, 
<laughs> but right. Like, but like yeah. Kip and Penelope are just like a bunch of weirdos. It's just like, oh no, you you still want me? <laughs> and Janelle's like, no, I don't leave me alone type thing. So yeah, I <laughs> maybe this is their answer to the Lashley Rusev story, <laughs> like just a weird version of it or something. And then it's yeah. going to end up with uh, <laughs> Joey and Kip getting married. Sure. <laughs> like, just throw it on the end or something. But uh, Yeah, I don't know. I'd, either way. I've not been too invested in this feud. So. Uh, I, I will say that Ford, she still does a good job of making me, like, that angry at the sure. manager interfering. <laughs> like, that yeah. works out pretty good. But Yeah, yeah so they're he, doing a good job of that. She's, yeah. uh, she's a more athletic version of Bobby Heaton. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that far yet, but the uh, she's that like compared to modern day managers or escorts uh-huh. or whatever you call them, uh, she's doing pretty good. So yeah. now we get MJF coming out. Oh, by so, the way, so this the, uh, that match got a C plus from uh, from the Bleacher Report. There, I I don't understand their rating system. <laughs> yes. Unless they have different people rating it, or they're just doing whatever. Um, well, the, the analysis of it was like this was a high quality match <laughs> that have benefited both characters. So, sure, yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I I don't know. So we get to, I mean, you'd have to assume that this is considered the main event for the evening, um, which is the weird. ten lashes, <laughs> right? Yes. So. What I have, like, on my little notes that I have that I was, like, just going over stuff. Um, let me see here. Somewhere. Oh, we missed where they had uh, Jericho and everybody in the back, I think, uh, talking about how horrible it was that he uh, hit Santana in the eye. Like, what kind yeah. of monster does that? So I thought that <laughs> yeah. was good. Where the, like, And all of them are on board with it. So that's fine. Uh but yeah, we got this thing. So the one thing I would I typed out here is that if this was like the WWE, mm-hmm. this segment would not work. Could you imagine? And right now it might be a little bit better. But imagine if they did this with Roman a year ago. Yeah. How quick the crowd would have been like, uh, they would have been calling Roman a woman's body part basically <laughs> chanting wise for selling yeah. any of the the lashes so it just it would be real hard to get this to work the way it should so i think that shows that the the AEW crowds are there to have a good time and they're willing to go with stuff if it's reasonable so uh, which you, is a you good didn't sign like, so you didn't like this no i thought it was good but i'm just saying like the crowd made this the crowd could have turned this into a disaster. If for some reason they would have yeah. decided that they don't like Cody, mm-hmm. then instead of getting booed, like MJF getting booed, Cody would mm-hmm. have been the one getting booed and being called a coward or something. Uh, well, probably would have been a much more uh, descriptive but word. The, but that's why they have already established before that this, though, that he couldn't touch MJF. Right. So, I mean... I. I, I know what you're saying, but I don't know what you're saying because... Well, I'm saying, okay, if this is WWE and they do this with Roman and Triple oh, H <laughs> like a year ago. <laughs> yeah. Even if Roman's the good guy, like this, it, it could have played out exactly the same, except the yeah. crowd is cheering for whoever's whipping Roman and calling sure. Roman a bunch of names. Like every yeah. time he's laying on the ground, they'd be like, you deserve it. Something like that. Sure would happen yeah. and it would just totally throw everything off whereas with AEW they're behind Cody the crowd is willing to participate with what's going on and it yeah. turned it into a really good segment oh sure because AEW knows who's, who's who the crowd will actually get behind than... yeah <laughs> yes could be as yeah. simple as that but yeah. it makes me wonder like how many people go to WWE shows now just wanting to crap all over it and not sure. try to give it a chance. <laughs> Granted, they've yeah. earned some of that, to to be fair, but there are people who are unrealistically critical. Um, I mean, I have a lot of criticism about WWE, but I'm also not paying to go to the event to 
just have a bad time. <laughs> like, well, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's a whole other psychological whole other issue. issue I think you should have that people yeah. have. So, yeah. Yeah, like if I went to an AEW, like I would go to an AEW show if they would come somewhere nearby and I would have a good time. <laughs> I'm not going to get into a WWE show because I'm probably not going to have a good time because I'm going to constantly be going, well, why are they doing this? <laughs> because what kind of person goes to an event like, oh, yeah, I'm really going to hate this. <laughs> I'm going to let people know that I hate this. <laughs> the whole reason I'm going is to hate it. It's, a, yeah. it's, a, it's just a weird concept to me. <laughs> Very much. But so uh, MJF, you know, he does his thing on the mic. Mm -hmm. uh, Cody comes out. MJF makes him give him his belt, which yeah. I kept thinking they were going to use a weight belt. I don't know why. Yeah, I thought they, I thought they was going to do that too. One of the pictures I saw, they had a, an actual whip. I was like, are they going to try using a whip? I was like, you got to be real careful with one of those. <laughs> well, and I can see uh, TNT's like, uh, you guys aren't using a whip. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. They're like, this is already on the edge of yeah. decency the way you guys have promoted it but yeah yeah you're not using a whip <laughs> they get the dude from uh the singapore guy with the cane where he did the graffiti <laughs> yeah Can't yeah exactly that, that guy's name but uh let's see here <laughs> i did so making him I'm give assuming... him his belt was just a nice little uh touch to it i think yeah the uh, so I, I guess uh, so as, as he's whipping them, people start coming out slowly for some reason. Yeah, like all, <laughs> all the bad guys was... come out to be happy. Uh, <laughs> the good guys come out. And, yeah, like, he's just going back like um, obvious overselling to the uh, the whipping. I would say based on having just seen the fiend and Daniel Bryan in a strap match, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it was funny because I was thinking about that too. Uh, I was like, "Yeah, this." Uh, I guess they're like, "Oh yeah, Daniel Bryan's." <laughs> I'm going to show you how it's now, done. Yeah. The fact that he had some of those, like you could see the welts from the pictures the day after, where it's like, mm -hmm. "Oh man, those were really oh. high on the neck." That probably <laughs> really did hurt. I'm sure Cody was like, "I want you to lay it into me." <laughs> oh yeah, there's no way that he didn't. Like, yeah. you had to. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, so, like, the Young Bucks come out, Dustin comes out, Brandy comes out at the end, uh, hopefully yeah, so I guess, ending the Nightmare Collective. Well, because, did you watch AEW Dark? No. So, a AEW Dark, um, I, I don't know their names, <laughs> the bald, uh, the bald person <laughs> that Mel. shaved her head. Mel, yeah. And then the other weird bald guy, <laughs> I don't know his name at Luther. all. Yeah, they turned on uh, Austin awesome awesome Kong. Kong. I saw a yeah. clip of that, but I wasn't sure if that's what was going on. So, well, yeah, in so real hopefully life, they've ended. Well, in real life, Awesome Kong is going back to film uh, season four of okay. Glow. Yeah. So, so she's going to be gone for a while. So they're thinking that the Nightmare Collective is pretty much over with because no one really liked it anyway. <laughs> it, so... it started out with a okay, let's see what happens, t and went to, I believe the one week I called it the Naptime Collective, because it put me to sleep. Um, <laughs> well, when, when they interrupted that that uh, title match, everything, everyone's like, okay, this is dumb. Right. Yeah, that was like, the, I was like, okay, we'll, we'll see where this goes. Uh, you ruined a good match. Yep. And it wasn't like, oh, you're bad guys, you ruined a good match. It was like, we really don't like you now. It's, it's sure. time for you guys to go away. Well, and I'll give it to AEW if the Nightmare Collective is over with. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like they do listen to their fans. <laughs> like, okay, the fans are not getting behind this at all, so let's... Well, uh... it wasn't even that... Like, it just didn't... It didn't work. Like, there was something missing. I don't know what it was. It had, like, a period where it was like, okay, let's see where this is going. But I think that was a case of they drug their feet with it a little bit. And well, then when too, they brought out Luther, it was like, what? <laughs> well, and also, I, th I think it might have actually had a, a chance. But you already have a cult-like group it already with the Dark Order. So why do you need two cult-like 
You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I was, so I, I I'd think say that's, that's fair. I think that's the other reason why everyone's like, hey, I, I'll, I can sort of get behind another failed, you know, <laughs> cult thing that you guys are trying to build. I'm not going to get behind two of them, you know? <laughs> right. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's better things for everybody involved in that to do, too. So yeah. I'm sure they'll figure it out, but at least they're, they appear to be moving away from it or get to retool it a little bit, maybe. Um, yeah. But yeah, so what do you think about, because uh, most of the the hits were, yeah, I mean, it would I, would I would not want you to hit me in the back with a belt as hard as you could. <laughs> like, that doesn't sure. sound like a good time. So, I mean, yeah. they definitely would hurt. But what about the one that Wardlow gave him? Yeah, the one what? that what? The, the one that Wardlow gave him looked like it would, <laughs> he, yeah, it really looked hurt. like it would, would uh, because I mean, he stepped into it, there. they should have let him do yeah. two of them, I think. Well, the but, one that, in the, the final one, right, on the right across the chest, yeah, that one, I think that would hurt the most. Yeah, well, that one looked like, because people were like, oh, it was right across the dream tattoo, and I don't know if that was intentional, but like, Cody turned around and... And he was, like, mid-swing already? Like, if that yeah. was just, like, a happy accident? Like, I'd have to watch it back to see if it was it looked super planned. But it looks like yeah. he was just, like, crap, he made it to 10. I'm just swinging and getting it in and getting out of here. Sure. Uh, but MJF definitely looked upset that he did not uh, did not break Cody. Break, break Cody, yep. Yeah. So, so, is next week the cage match? No, that will be a week okay. after. What we have for next week so far, you have Santana versus Mox. Mm -hmm. You have Paige and Kenny against SCU with the rematch. And then you have yeah. Nyla and Rio. Okay. Is what's going on so far. So with yeah. that, do you have any wild predictions for anything happening next week? Um, I think Hangman and Kenny keep the belt. Uh, I don't... I have a problem with their tag team because they're not really a tag team. They're kind of put together. Um, They've been a tag team longer than a lot of teams in WWE. <laughs> well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and for using that as a uh, as a measure tool, yes. Right. <laughs> yes. Actually, that's that's not entirely true because I mean you have like the Usos, the Revival, New Day, yep. uh, the Good Brothers, or the Club, whatever you want to call them now. Uh, they actually have like quite a few teams that have been consistent. Like they haven't been okay. as bad at throwing people together, <laughs> like in a while. Now, in yeah. my mind, that's still how it works. But I am aware that they've actually been a lot better about that. So I'd like to think that that's like the tag teams being like, dude, no, not every not every tag <laughs> team has to have a Shawn Michaels and a Marty Jannetty. We can just be a tag yes. team. Have you heard of yeah. this tag team called the Rock and Roll Express? They did pretty good. <laughs> yeah.